what's happening folks and welcome to another scouting special on my channel this evening if you're enjoying the series and the content on here hit the subscribe button down below and like the video if you've not done so already also down below discord links and my twitch channel link as well twitch is live on fridays saturdays and tuesdays work permitting and football permitting obviously because i do have a second channel for man united speaking of which down below is my man united podcast as well so if you want to hear my latest latest my news on my news my views on manchester united feel free to um drop a follow on the anchor and listen to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and also most other uh, media is where you get your podcasts from. So in case you're new to this series, this is kind of a series within a series. Um, it's the Call of Scouting Specials. Essentially, I like to get people involved in my series. And what I do is, uh, what, what, was, what I do now is if I find a player I'm interested in signing, I'm not quite sure about him, I do, I'll do a video on him and essentially, essentially do my scouting on a video and allow you guys to get involved and give your opinion on him. So this is going to happen on FM21 as well. Um, it's Basically, this is the Monaco series. You will not see anything else in the Monaco series in this episode. I don't want to reveal a result or anything else going on. So it's going to be very tricky to do this. Um, be very careful what I show you. Also, this, this will be a thing on FM21 as well. Obviously, right now, it's all young players. Uh, new gens, or as you, I used to call them for years, regens. But going forward, obviously, in the new game, there'll be there'll be actual players, so you guys can get a you know reference point on real players rather than just new gens all the time. So um, today's player is someone I, men I mentioned in the last episode. I think. Oh god, no, keep that on. Uh, I mentioned last episode. Ed Edoardo Palmisani, Palmisani, Palmis Palm Palmisani. I don't know if that's close or anything like it should be, but I'm going with it. Now, as you know, I'm a sucker for a winger with pace and acceleration and dribbling. Now, the only downside of this guy is he can't play. He's very right-footed and he can't and, he's, and, and, he's, and he can play a winger. Inside forward could be a thing. Now, obviously, when his foot he goes with. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to look. We're going to, we're going to compare him because he's not going. To, he's not. He's not, he's not going to replace Anthony, right? He'll be replacing Dembele. So that, that's the. That's the. Player is going to be most likely replacing on that side. So, so we'll look. Obviously, these stats here um, are not really that relevant because obviously it's you know overall view. But the report here. So we'll look. Right. So obviously, as you can see, um, Dembele is basically at his potential. Um, it's down to the fact that Anthony came in. Anthony, Anthony came in and has kind of stolen his thunder a little bit. Um, Obviously, a lot of pros on here. You can see, um, basically, the form, training, spirited, second nationality, decently fit, physical, and that kind of thing. Um, unhappy and and how he's he's unhappy because he's not, he's not playing, and also heading is not great either. Um, so potential he's reached his max. He's first one million pounds. Um, wage is not much of an issue. This guy's wage will be a lot higher. So looking at Ed Palamisani, Palamisani. He's got a three-star current ability. He's the same ability as Dembele is. He's got a three-star potential ability, potentially four and a half star. Now, we've got full knowledge on this guy as well. So, that's interesting. Um, so, again, obviously, when you sign him, that may increase. Now, the cons. That's ability. Um, could have problems in the, new, in the country. Very one-footed. His long shots are great and awkward core social group. An agent, an agent would ask for a high fee. Not an issue for me. Versatility. So, he can make a couple of positions. Recent form is skill, professional, and dribbling. So, the only downside, obviously, to him here is that he's a winger. He's very one-footed. He's got a very weak, a very weak left foot. However, I love that pace and dribbling. And I'm not averse to playing winger if he plays. A bit, of, a bit of variation. A bit of variation is not a massive problem, is it really? And I think he. I, I mean, we could. I don't know. If it, I don't know how you increase his weak foot. Uh, maybe you could. I mean, if it was just like sort of reasonable weak foot, we could. But again, maybe you can't do that with this guy. You know, obviously depends how, how training goes and that kind of thing. So obviously, inside forward um, is what I play at the moment on the right hand side. However, when you look at the technical abilities that he has. All right, his finishing is pretty poor, but his technique's great, his purchase is great, his crossing is fantastic, and his dribbling's even better. 
his pace and agility and acceleration are better than Dembele. So essentially, it's a question: Do you want, do you want a backup? Do you want to keep keep Dembele as a backup right wing inside forward, or get Eduardo as a backup um, winger? And obviously, you have to change that slightly. Now, I will obviously research, maybe try and his weak foot. But I just love that dribbling, that first touch, that crossing, that technique, and that pace. Now, the work rate is similar. The mental stats are pretty similar. In fact, looking at the mental stats. Palamasani wins. Um, but I think on every single one, apart from determination, looking at a glancing view. Oh, no. Work, all right. All right t- those three here, he doesn't win. Uh, but m- m- all the rest of them, apart from four of them, he's winning He's winning them. All right, Overall, though, you know, I think he's I think he's really good. And obviously, transfer-wise, fee-wise, I, that's, that's my job. I will, will, will worry about that. But I just think, like, the potential ability for him is fantastic. Um, now, obviously, the recommendation for the for him is is a useful signing. But I just feel like Dembele is just not quite doing it for me. And I feel like I'm just... I'm not playing him enough. I'm playing, I feel like I'm playing Dembele because I have to play him to try and keep him happy. Whereas this guy, I'd play him because he's something, something exciting and really interesting to to have in the team. Now, I don't, I don't know what the fee would be. Um, but he's trying to negotiate a fee. So have a look. What, has he got a lease contract? So we've got £52 million in the transfer budget. I want to see what the fee would be. £251 million. Right. Okay. Well, again, we can maybe um, work on that and try and negotiate that down a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm just he's really interesting, guys. I like the look of him, he's got good potential. I want to know your thoughts on him. I think, obviously, when you compare him to, um, let's have a look, uh, compare him to Anthony, he's not going to be as good. Um, and and can Anthony play winger? Can Anthony play winger? Not really. Um, so it, it's essentially. Essentially, do you want a backup wing? Should we go for a backup, backup winger or a backup inside forward? This guy could play inside forward, but I'll point him as winger more. What I would like, like you do, if I can get a free grief and that's reasonable, I would get um, him improved on, on his left foot by a decent margin if I possibly can. Because otherwise, um, I would like it to be more. I would like it to be inside forward. However, I don't want to really force him into that. Because you look at his attributes here, his main things I like are his dribbling, his crossing, and his technique. You, you'd sign this guy for the crossing ability. Now, I, I just feel like a different option off the bench behind it. Having two inside forwards on the right-hand side, as Dembele and Anthony, is all well and good. But there might, but I like the idea of having an alternative option and way of playing. So if I was to say to him, okay, Dembele's not, you know, Anthony's not injured today, and I feel like in this game we need more, more of a winger. I can then keep him wide and keep to, keeps the width. Because the theory I've got, I'll, I'll go to the tactics screen here. I don't think it's going to show anything. Before the person table, don't mind. He's not going to reveal anything. Because inside forward, with Anthony, right? The problem I've got with it is he's obviously going to go in, into here a lot. He's going to here a lot. In theory. Having a winger might stretch teams out a bit more. So those games when you struggle to get the goals early on, having a winger out there who's going to be staying primarily wide and whipping balls into the penalty area would be an alternate option compared to having um, just inside forwards cutting inside all the time. So, um, obviously, I don't, I don't want to reveal anything. I'm going to go back on the screen here. Ah, oh, it's there. It's fine. It's not going to reveal anything. It's not going to happen. So, yeah. The plus side to him, I would say, is... You have an alternate option um, of a different style of play on that right-hand side. The downside is he can't play inside forward and he's very one-footed. The fee could be quite high, but I can work on that myself. So your thoughts down below, guys, in the comments section on this guy. I'm going to keep you quite short because I don't really want to uh, make these like 20 minutes long. There's no, reason to, there's no reason for them to be that long. Your thoughts in the comments section. Do you think it's a good idea to go with, go with? Or if you think, maybe not him, but yeah, your thought process about going for a winger as a backup option 
is a good one. Maybe you find somebody a bit more reasonable, which is the, the foot and that kind of thing. Your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget, guys, check out the Style of Tomorrow series. That is ending soon, though. I explained the video. Um, we'll see something released the other day. Uh, thank you for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.